Um, so Aries, Five of Swords and the Ace of Cups, we are fighting for love or we have a conflict in love. We might be conflicted about love. We don't know what's going on. We have changes, win or lose kind of energy. Ace of Cups and the Death card, maybe a Scorpio you are in love with or this is about an ending of a love situation. But we are still fighting for it. We do not want to let it go. We do not want to release this one. We might be observing them. They might be observing us with a hangman. Might be a suspension in time. The universe saying it's just a breakup. It's just a breakup. We'll see. Depending on the energies unfolding. Eight of Wands. We are still passionate about this person. We believe it's still possible. Eight of Wands is Cupid's arrows. It's sensual messages. Passionate messages. All this. So let's see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time and five of swords again fighting for commitment what's going on we want a commitment with this person they want we want to share the love five of pentacles and strength might be a leo you are dealing with and we are going through changes in commitment three of cups five of pentacles might be a third party situation here happening but we are staying strong and we are staying committed. We have the Seven of Swords, Three of Swords. And the Tower might be some betrayal happening to us. What's going on? What is going on, Aries? Um, Taurus energy, Leo energy. A world of commitment and yet challenging commitment. So let's see what's going on, baby. Who is doing this to you? I mean, you are, you are the emperor, you have the power, you have the mind, you have the knowledge, you have the data, you have the strength. So what's going on here? Who is messing up with the emperor? Please, tell it. Give it, give them to me, right? <laughs> so let's see the possible outcome. We had past energies, current energies, and now let's have the possible outcome. Let's see who's messing up with our good vibes here. And we have the death card again, Scorpio energy. I do believe we have to let go the overall energy. Yes, that is love. And yes, we need to let them go over here and release somebody. Or maybe you need to release yourself from um, a bond. Um, Aries, we'll see, baby. Let's see. So in the past, on your side, we do have the six of pentacles and the six of wands. Such a prized possession, right? A lot of reciprocation, giving and receiving. You felt in balance. They brought balance into your life or you brought balance into theirs. But because it's paired with the six of wands, I'm picking up a lot of pride. I'm picking up a lot of success. You believed that you're going to succeed and you kind of felt that this connection was a success. Um, that might be their energy, actually. And six is the harmonious number. So something tells me, Aries, that in the past you were in a harmonious relationship, give and take, very balanced, very successful, um, based on uh, firm convictions, right? With the six of wands and a successful one. Now this person, Aries, nine of swords, in their darkest fears in the past and in need for uh, peace of mind, just breathe. They might have had anxieties over this connection. They might have been afraid of something, maybe afraid to commit, maybe afraid they were maybe fighting their own mind, their own demons, because four of swords with the nine of swords. One is extreme anxiety, one is extreme uh, measures in order to quiet the mind and um, um, tune down the, uh, the noises around all this. Two complete different energies. But a lot of love. Oh my God, there is. Look at this. Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups. A lot of wish fulfillment and a lot of love and a lot of new beginnings and a lot of reconciliation. Twice the Ace of Cups in the past with the Nine of Cups. I believe you, it might have been an in, in, an in and out kind of connection, but boy, there was so much love. And with the Three of Cups, a lot of sharing. Nine of Cups, a lot of desires fulfilled. Um... Page of Cups, let's start over. Let's reinvent this um, this bond. This is what happened. And now probably if it's an in and out, it kind of feels like an in and out connection. Uh, and we are on the out right now with the Five of Pentacles and Five of Swords. 
um, rejected and, and, and um, excluded and pushed away. Um, uh, let me tell you that is still love here. That is still love here. And wish fulfillment, but they are afraid of something. The mind is the enemy for them. So where are we right now, Aries? Uh, we do have yourself leading the game, but also it is paired with the moon. So we might feel a little bit lost right now. A little bit in the dark about something. A little bit in need to confront something. Can also be a Pisces you are dealing with. And if that's the case, I mean, they are all over your energy. But I'm more sensing that we felt extremely confident. Six of Wands is look at me, right? Look at me, how brilliant I am. Look at me, what I have. Look at me. So probably you had a lot of conviction that this is the one and a lot of pride and a lot of... Um, yeah, and Six of Wands is the, uh, the winner, right? It's the warrior who wins the battle and comes home. And now we have you a little bit maybe confused. I mean, what happened? We were so good, right? That this is the energy I'm picking up. It's like, but we were good. We had strong commitment. We had a home, root, um, family. It looked good. So what happened, you know? Now the person you are dealing with, they absolutely adore you. Um, Aries, we do have the Six of Cups and the Six of Wands. They adore you and they mirror your past energy. Six of Wands believe and succeed and the six of cups you are simply adored this is your person reminiscent about the past being aware of the bond remembering the time the communication the exchanges the love and they simply love you and they believe this is still possible okay oh look at this mutual energies the hierophant and the four of wands commitment joy and stability taurus energy again but this is um, marriage is important, home is important, whatever we've built is important, putting down roots is important, stability, and commitment, long-term, traditional one. So I would say I don't know what we need to release here, but the love is strong. <clears throat> the love, the stability, the desire actually to have stability is strong. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Okay, I'm back to you. Yeah, from time to time I have something. So um, I, I wanted to say this is absolutely about stability. And this is rock solid commitment. Whatever fears you have, it, it looks like temporary, right? So energy is coming your way. Aries, eight of pentacles with the five of cups. This is the energy of I miss you. I feel sorry. I'm regretful. And the Eight of Pentacles, let me make the dedicated effort. Let me focus on this. Let me work on this. And with the Five of Cups, it's like, baby, I'm sorry. And I miss you. This is what's coming your way. What is coming their way? Um, the outcome of this, we do have the Five of Wands. They are going through changes right now. But it doesn't change the love for you. We have Four of Cups, a little bit discontent and bored and going through challenging times. June might be a a tough time for them but again not for the love and it's interesting nine of swords four of swords five of wands four of cups something from the past is coming into their life and it, it, it doesn't look like a person but energy is coming back where they feel anxious they are afraid of something they are going through challenging times so they go kind of in waves but the love for you it is unshakable um aries I hope you know that. And mutual energies between the two of you. We do have Eight of Cups moving on and finding balance. So probably if you are away from this person, um, Aries, they really regret this, you know, and they want to make the effort. The Eight of Pentacles, the energy of learning. Learn, you know, teach me. And we do have teach twice. So somebody might be a professor here. Somebody might be teaching something. Um, you know, uh, um, you know, working with students and stuff, but um, they might be asking to be taught how to love you, you know, because they do have emotions, they do believe that is, but they are going through something that is of their own and makes them so stressed about, and again, doesn't look like an, another person. 
it's simply challenging can be work five of pentacles somebody might be out of work five of swords they might be in family conflict they might have anxieties and um, issues where they are out of balance and that's how we get finding balance by emotionally withdrawing from a situation that is challenging to them but they are going they, i mean again the love for you is unshakable but they are going through challenges over here and um aries for some of you that is a message here and it is release control of this love bond um aries i don't know who's controlling here um might be controlling the the sharing of love the way it happens the commitment might be a form of control of some sort and somebody gets the overall energy release control and love abundance starting new um you know having that um energy of a renewed commitment where we it feels like a honeymoon right i'm just saying because one is struggling both both of you, you are full of love for each other but one is struggling more than the other you know so let's um use my uh whispers of love so let's see what we need to do in regards to this bond and we have have faith trust your faith in this situation okay what you know you know it's good what you know your intuition is right this is the energy of um, they will solve their problems. We do have I love you. These are powerful words. So Aries, this is love, baby. This is absolutely love. For some of you, you need to say I love you. For some of you, this is because this is guidance, right? So we might actually have to have faith and come from a place of love and express love. And embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted, right? Have faith, say I love you, and embrace your emotions. I don't know if you are hiding these emotions uh, or maybe you don't express them as freely as um, one does or, um, you know. And again, who can we compare with? We are unique in, in our way of, of doing love, so... But we do have embrace your emotions, say I love you and have faith, okay? So let's have some guardian angels here. Let's see what we need to do. But boy, there is so much love here. Five of cups again. Um, they have regrets and guilt. And um, this is guidance for you. And it says forgiveness is an important part of healing. Forgive yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life. Ask your angels or those you love to help you move through the process quickly so that you can get back on the path of joy. And you have to see this. Eight of Pentacles. So you have the Five of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles, which is exactly the same energy. Eight of Pentacles with the Five of Cups as the energy coming your way in June. So Aries, I don't know if you are guided to forgive this person, but it's twice for somebody that is a strong message here. Learn how to forgive them. Eight of Pentacles, make the dedicated effort to forgive this person with the Five of Cups. Somebody made a mistake here. And of course, this guidance is about work, but we know it's about effort too. So Eight of Abundance, this is a time of learning and honing your skills. You may feel inspired to go back to school, take seminars on topics that fascinate you or educate yourself on the healing arts. This is a good time to change um, jobs or make a career move. The key to success is in the details. Monitor your projects carefully. But this is a love reading and this is energy coming your way. Regrets, guilt, forgiveness, uh, mourning, a connection and with the eight of pentacles making the dedicated effort to forgive somebody for some of you it's um, really about coming to the understanding that this person goes in cycles they started with a lot of fear in the past they are at a place where maybe because they've lost you they are hopeful and they are awakened to the love that they have for you and coming their way again is a cycle of trouble so um now that we know this right 
maybe we have to control less if this is your energy maybe they will control less um and um i know i have one card reversed here so i'm just saying right you are way more powerful in the energies happening right now oh you're kidding me forgiveness here is the first guidance out the first energy we need to get back into the flow was forgiveness so i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love forgiveness perseverance i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to so if you feel you can't you can't actually forgive them the guidance is be perseverant i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to we do have relationships i am attracted to those people who serve my higher good so for some of you we need to look actually the guidance is to look at this relationship and question yourself if they bring uh, something to you i am attracted to those people who serve my higher good this one was turned so it was meant to be yours love i commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things so we are guided to bring back um, love into the flow so i commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things and bottom of the deck self-esteem i possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others self-esteem i possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others so um aries this is such a beautiful reading i know it looks like somebody is tormented but this reading has love all over it love all over this reading so you are loved just so you know you are loved i know you love this person might be like a bump in a road but this love is unshakable okay and we need to forgive and we need to bring love back into the flow and the guidance speaks volume right have faith say i love you and embrace your emotions Ac accept them might be a forbidden love god knows what kind of love is this but it is love it is true love and you are really guided to express your emotions so um aries this is all that i have for you guys you know i love you right i wish you nothing but the best um as always please let me know what you think don't forget to like share and subscribe and come see me next time love you take care bye